So we'll be showing you the A to Z of uh, skirt making. We we'll start with the measurement taken. So we'll start with the waist to the hip and the length. Those are the three factors that you need for the skirts. The waist measurement, here you have the waist as 29. Length to hip. Ground hip measurement. The measurement taken so far is what would determine the actual hip, the actual round hip measurement, the length. The length is being determined by how long the person wants it. So our full length is what? 19 inches. The round M. Work freely. So that's about the measurement. Here on the table, we have uh, our pattern. What you have on top here is the pattern. So the pattern is used to cut this. So this is your front skirt now. And this is your back to the skirt. And uh, the lining must be next to the pattern. So the pattern, this is being derived from the pattern too. The front comes in this fold. And the back, because your zipper is at the back, so it comes in two pieces. Why is it two? It allows for the zipper and it allows for your opening at the back. So the opening allows you to walk freely. So here, we're going to be starting with our zip allowance. So you come here, measure out your allowance for the zipper. Put your zipper next to this. And off we go. It's wise to always use your tape while sewing so that you don't sew out of point. So here, again, you come here and determine how much opening you want to leave. We'll be using about five inches here. So after sewing, we'll be left with about three and a half. Now you need to determine what you want. Do you want a vent or an overlap? This is called a vent. And this is called an overlap. Now come and hold your darts, your back darts. which is four inches long. This case is about almost completed. From here, take out your half inch seam. Make sure you're not sewing more than your added allowance, which is your half inch seam. After joining this, you quickly come here, confirm your waistline. What's the waist? 29? Yes, 29. So here we have 29. And the taking waist was 29. So it means we are on point. Join your lining. Create your opening. Like I said earlier, you leave your five. Your hip is what? What's the hip? 42? No, 40. 40, okay. The hip is 40. Now the balance and is 40. Yep. After sewing, you cut out your threads. And you come here and M your down points with an inch thereabouts. Come here. You always measure. It's important for you to measure. This is an inch. Exactly an inch. So And 
when you get here, you allow this to determine the other side. Come here. Again, you cut your tress to make sure that you have a good finish. Then you bring this, zip down, and drop this inside this. Align the two edges to meet, side to side. So you join the side seam to each other. Now your skirt is partially ready. Now you drop your lining inside the skirt. It's looking more like it now. You come here. Cut out your threads. So you come here. You check your waistline. So you come here too. You check your hip so that no surprise is after so. The hip is 40. This must be 20. So this is 20. So it means you're on point. Come here, open up this. So now the band. So you're going to be saying from inside to outside. So now the band has been prepared. You just follow the guideline, which is your thing. You make sure you don't sew on the band. So if you want the sewn finish, you just come here and take out your M allowance. Before you sew this, it's advisable for you to Consider the other side, making sure that the two are on the same line. So at the end of the day, one is no longer than the other. When we finally come to the end of the skirt. We'll now call on our model to fit it for us.